had to guess what I do for a job, what would you say? Would you say A, a carpenter, B, a chef, C, a retail worker, or D, a musician? I'll give you a couple of seconds to guess in the comments below, but no cheating. One, two, three, four, five. Alrighty. Now, if you said chef, congratulations, give yourself a round of applause. <coughs> Woohoohoo! Yes, because you are 110% wrong. Nope, I'm just a simple retail worker. And you see, when I started the job, I loved it. I loved the idea of helping people with their projects, finding what they needed, all that stuff I was bloody excited for. And I'll never forget my first shift with one of my co-workers and they turned around and asked me, how are you liking it so far? And I'm like, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm, yeah, I'm loving the idea of helping people out. You know, I'm a real people pleaser. And she goes to me, oh, don't worry. It won't be long before you've lost all faith in humanity. Whoa, wow, that was pretty dark. But now, five years down the road and I look at it and I think to myself, God damn, I hate people. Don't get me wrong, not all people are the worst, but let me tell you, a solid 90% of customers are so dense in their head that they are just not capable of thinking for themselves. But anyway, it's story time. Let's talk about some of these people I'm talking about. So let's start small. A customer comes up to me the other day and she goes to me, oh, excuse me, do you sell flat packed fridges? Now, I don't have a lot of experience in buying fridges. I've maybe bought, you know, three in my lifetime so far, but by God, have I never gone to a store and expected the fridge to be DIY. DIY fridge. Lady, look, I just saw you not even knowing how to open up the goddamn barbecue display over there, let alone put together a goddamn fridge. What are you, an electrician? A bloody engineer? No, no, we do not sell DIY fridges. You will end up electrocuting your whole house. No, no DIY fridge. Now, obviously I wasn't that harsh, but let's be real. Who's gonna buy a fridge and build it themselves? It's not bloody Lego. I'm probably coming off a little bit harsh, you know, I'm coming in hot and heavy, but I've got a lot of these stories. And then there's the other one. I can clearly see this person's a little bit, a little bit lost. So I put on my retail face, go over there. Yeah, get a mate, do you need a hand with anything? And they turn around and they're like, yeah, yeah. Um, how long's a meter? How long is a meter? Really? How long is a meter? Um, yeah, it's, it's about a meter. A meter's, a meter's a meter. A meter's a meter long. It doesn't change, a hundred centimeters. It's a, it's a meter. I mean, you could have said, can you show me how long a meter is? I'd be understand. I'd whip out the tape and, oh yeah, it's about that. So you can get a visual, but how long is a meter? What do you want me to tell you? You just answered your own question. It's a meter. Bloody hell. And you know, I get them all. I get the ones who come over with their plant and they're like, oh yeah, g'day. Look, I bought this plant a while ago and it's dead. Oh, cool. Um, was it dead when you bought it? No? Oh, it wasn't. Oh, well, don't worry. We'll just give you a full refund because clearly that's just how the world works. You know, oh, if it's dead, you may have killed it. It's like, I don't go to the pet store, right? Buy a puppy and then come back two weeks later and be like, oh, my puppy's dead. I need a refund. No, 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 no. You clearly didn't look after it. A plant needs to be looked after just like a puppy does. And you know what else? People are actually really disgusting. I remember one day coming into work, you know, going through my area, making sure everything's clean and ready to be shopped for the day and finding a dirty diaper jammed in between the shelves. A dirty freaking diaper. What the hell? Like there's bins everywhere. There's change rooms for your kids. And yet you, you changed it out in an aisle and decided it'd be a great idea to put the diaper in the shelf. Why? Who does that? Just be normal. Don't put the diaper jammed in the shelf, like hiding it, like no one's ever going to find it. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to make a cup of tea and go stand to the abyss for a little bit. But before I go, do you have any stories about work and retail you'll just never forget? You know, the sort of stories that make you question the society we live in. Well, if you do, let's have a chat about it. And you know what? While we're at it, help me get out of this rut by smashing that thumbs up with the thousand fists of the rising sun. And subscribe if you want to hear that sweet, soothing voice of mine again, if that's your thing. I don't know. Now, I'm going to go make that, um, that cup of tea. Do I want an Earl Grey? Maybe something a bit more calming, like a chamomile. Lemon and ginger? There's so many options. How am I supposed to choose?